Hi and welcome to Game Creation and this is quite an exciting three weeks we're going to have because we're going to be doing our Christmas project and yes I say that as if it's a tradition but all traditions need to start somewhere. Um, so this is going to be the only planning video in the next three weeks. We're going to start a project for what we're hoping to do from start to finish in the next three weeks. Uh, if it doesn't work out that way, then so be it. We'll try and get as close as we can. But I'm pretty confident we can get a uh, viable product done in three weeks' time. Um, and the challenge, as you've probably seen from the title description and thumbnail, is to create Tetris in that three weeks. Um, so this week I'll be focusing probably on the array, and we're going to be building it completely in an array. Um, and we're going to visualize it in that array, uh, especially in the first week. And we'll probably have, um, and I might change my mind throughout the week, but we'll probably have a background array for blocks that are committed. So ones that you're not controlling anymore. And then a second array on top for the one that you're actually controlling. Um, and the different blocks will go down. Um, and we'll probably have to build, um, or probably have to think about how um, we're going to uh, make the blocks go down, and we'll have a primitive collision detection, all stuff that we've um, used on our main project. Um, after the three weeks over, we will go back to the main project, so don't worry. Um, so I'm looking at basically uh, incorporating everything we've learned from the main project into this project, and maybe pick up a few things along the way, Tetris is a very easy game to make and a very, very difficult game to make well. There's a lot of um, things about Tetris that you might not really think about when you start um, coding it and coming into problems. Um, for instance, um, when, you, when a tile hits another tile, you actually get a little bit of moment's grace to shift it quickly. Um, so the collision happens not when they touch each other, but for a pulse after that. Talking about pulses, Tetris runs on pulses, so every movement down is counts as a pulse. Um, and to make the game difficult, the, the duration of the pulses decreases, so they come quicker and you've got to make your decision quicker. Um, so we've got to think about that right from the start. So we've got to think, well, what um, what what uh, time do we want the pulse to be? Do we want it to be half a second or is that too slow? Um, and we need a variable or an alterable variable um, to um, store that amount so that we can change it later on and everything needs to be based on that um, alterable value. Um, and yeah, it's going to be quite a challenge. Um, I'm going to be um, hoping that um, <laughs> I can get this done. But we do have a bit of extra time because I'm not doing planning videos next week or the week after. So that means we've got 14 videos to get this project finished. Um, I think next week um, we'll be getting the graphics in. We'll have the different colours for the different tetrominoes, I think they're called, uh, for the different uh, things that you control, you know, the blocks. Um, and um, we'll probably, maybe this week, figure out um, whether you've got a, a, a line, because uh, the point of Tetris is to get lines. And the difficulty you have is that if you create sprites of the or graphics for the blocks, when they go together um, along one of the lines that um, gets taken away, you'll have bits of each block, um, which is not ideal at all. So what you want to do is you want to... Um, you don't, I don't mind creating the sprite of the blocks, but as soon as it's committed, as soon as the player's not controlling it anymore, you need to convert it into like individual squares so that you can remove one square and you know move all the things down. Um, and I think it's uh, like quite a few of the projects I've done, as long as I can do it in an array, converting the graphics and getting the graphics in there is, is very, very easy. Like I'm not concerned with... Um, getting the graphics in there. What I'm concerned with is getting the array right. And we'll probably have uh, different numbers in the array. Zero meaning no blocks at all. One meaning like a, um, a straight line. And then two meaning that kind of uh, zigzag shape and, and things like that. So yeah, it's a lot to be thinking about. Um, and also probably over the next three weeks, I'm going to be 
getting out my Game Boy and, and playing a bit of Tetris to try and refresh my memory of how the things work. Um, we might get a scoring system in week three um, if we get that far, assuming we get all our other objectives. Um, it would be nice to see what block comes next, so have some have a little um, area for that. Uh, and I think week three is all about tidying up. Um, I think also like when you get to the bottom, you can actually switch it around. And I think with the um, with the T-shaped blocks, you can get you can swivel them around really nicely into fitting in really weird positions. Um, if we have time in week three, we'll try and implement that. But my, I'm not holding my breath over that because um, Tetris, as I said, it's very very easy to do and very very difficult to do well so when you've got all of those fringe cases um, then it gets a little bit more difficult to get your head around exactly how to program it um, I'm sure uh, I'm sure other people out there have, have done this before and have created their own Tetrises um, I'm not looking at any other <clears throat> tutorials when I do this so my methods might be exactly the same or might be completely different um, to how anyone else has done it, how the uh, original programmers did it, um, and how you would do it. And you might see things that I do and have a completely different idea, and that's absolutely brilliant, and that's what makes programming amazing, is that two people can achieve the same task doing completely different things, um, and the winner really is the one who uses the least memory, or makes it look the prettiest, who knows. But... Um, keep your comments coming in. I will be filming quite. Oh, well, this week's I'll be filming um, on the day, uh, and I might um, backlog uh, a few videos over Christmas and New Year's. Um, so please keep your comments coming in. If you've got any suggestions or any improvements you think uh, can be made, um, I'll try and reference them at some point. Um, and there might be a follow-up video in the new year, um, looking back and and taking your improvements and maybe improving the uh, the final product on the 4th, 5th of January or whenever we, whenever we finish this, whatever three weeks is from today. Um, so I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, if you like the idea of this um, and that you're up for it, um, please click the like and subscribe. And yeah, <laughs> wish me good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.